so namaste to everyone and thank you for joining so we have no namaste namaste debo priya ji so we have no clue what we are going to do today <laughs> but that's okay it's good to just sit and maybe talk about things that matter to us so i thought that uh, maybe just to begin with we'll listen to a teaching if that is okay with you all ha huh? so we'll listen to a teaching which is uh, maybe relevant to our day to day lives and then we can take a silent pause and then we can share questions reflections if they are there so the thing is that we take teachings from everywhere whether it is sai baba buddhism mother shirobindo kabir it doesn't matter we just pick up essence from everywhere because truth is everywhere in whatever forms so let us listen to hmm, yeah maybe this one i'll share the screen so uh, some of us may know this is uh, jatsunma tenzing palmo and we uh, we have been really at living light we have been benefited by her teachings a lot uh, so even if we little uh, listen to like little ex- excerpts of about 2 minutes 3 minutes is enough work for the day which is given to us and it tells us about the state of our usual minds how it is and what can we do about it and then here in this short clip she is talking about uh, disenchantment in hindi we also call it just a second in hindi we also some call, commentaries call it uh, udasinta you know it's very common to hear this word udasin and it's a very positive word uh, udasin is a very positive word be- because in sanskrit it means you are sitting beyond asan is udd you know your asan you are sitting beyond the material manifestations and that doesn't mean that you are not participating it just means that you are not now wanting anything out of it so getting disenchanted from the world including people relationships and in the beginning it appears like uh, being sad you know ki wahan se kuch nahi milega but it's not that it's a very happy elated state where you know that this world can't give you anything lasting so getting disenchanted from the world because from time to time we have enchantments everything appears very glittery this job will give me that that i am looking for you know this relationship or this person this country from time to time we get attracted to the world uh, in a sense that it will give me something lasting so disenchantment is the beginning of spiritual path where you know that the world cannot give you anything lasting but how it can be positive because now i can offer myself to the world knowing that this cannot give me anything but i can offer my presence to the world so that's what she is talking about disenchantment so we listen to this we also have link to the video on the chat box so that we can uh, listen to the entire piece yeah yeah definitely i'll i'll share all these links with you thank you so uh, much pratima ko bhej dungi you can share pratima. sure sure thank you say that the first step is um a disenchantment with samsara that means that we recognize that all the joys that we might hope that sansara anybody not know what sansara is everybody knows sansara okay sansara means the endless round of birth and death and rebirth and redeath the the ordinary worldly life that we live um that you know we we are told by society that if we make lots of money and we get a nice big house and fancy cars and and uh, you know designer clothes that somehow that's going to make us feel really fulfilled and uh, people who have acquired all these have discovered it doesn't believe really in fulfilled they are asking themselves is this all life is about 
And um, so then, as with the Buddha himself, who was a prince and had everything, including a wife and a son, and a doting father, and a kingdom about to become his own, nonetheless, he recognized that, that was not enough. There must be something beyond this. Is this all we're here for? Just to, you know, surround ourselves with pleasure and comfort, and then what? And so for many people also living in the West, one of the advantages is that we can see that all these perks to the worldly life do not actually give us a sense of genuine inner fulfillment and satisfaction. However much we get, there's always more and then what? And so this sense of disenchantment is uh, by some of the, the lamas uh, regarded as the, the most, imp the key to opening the door to the, um, the palace of, of the, the, all the treasures of the, the Dharma teaching. Unless we're interested and we have a reason for wanting to go f further, then we're not even going to get started. So that sense of turning away, it doesn't mean you have to all give up your families and, and your home and go forth, but it does mean that inwardly we no longer place all our reliance on outer satisfactions, that we are looking for something deeper and, and um, more permanent. So a lot of people come to the Dharma or, or to spiritual paths in general, because of suffering. Because outwardly everything's falling apart. And so then they ask themselves, you know, is there a refuge? They are caught in the stormy waves. Where is a boat? The Buddha himself described the Dharma as a boat. He said that it helps us to ride the waves of samsara. Samsara's waves go up and down, sometimes everything's okay, sometimes we're down again because waves go up, waves go down. And so what we need is something to help us to ride the waves. And so the Dharma is um, also compared to a boat. So therefore, let's see what they're saying here. All right. This would continue and uh, she was talking about some teachings, reflecting upon teachings from masters and uh, she has a lot of uh, YouTube videos, you can, you know, there's no end to it, you can go and immerse yourself in it. So what we'll do is we'll uh, maybe take a short silent break here, two minutes, we'll stay with the breath and maybe reflect in the meantime also on whatever was being said if anything resonated and if you have questions, doubts, concerns, we'll take them up after these two minutes. Let's stay silent for two minutes.
Okay, so yeah, anyone wants to share anything? Anything that resonated, what you heard? I'm sorry. Um, as uh, she said, uh, you know, there are much bigger things uh, apart from all, all the all the materialistic or all those things which we have. Um, what exactly we should be looking for in that grand, uh, you know, if we if we just see to it in that bigger scale, what exactly what we should go after? So the thing is that. Our mind is always seeking. We all know, we all have taste of that, that we are always looking for something. We look for that in relationships. We look for that in workplace, maybe uh, lifestyle, the way we live, we look for that there. Uh, maybe we want to have uh, marriage, children, we look for that there. But we still remain empty handed. So there is this very famous Kabir couplet that we may have heard. Kasturi kundal base, mrag dunde banmahi, jaise ghat ghat ram hai, dunia dekhat nahi. So he is saying that kasturi mrag jo hota hai, he senses the fragrance. So just like we all have this thirst, this seeking, and they say that if there is a thirst, there must be water. But we don't know where that water is. So the Kasturi Mrag doesn't know that the fragrance is where. There is fragrance, but where is it coming from? So it wanders around in the forest looking for it. So he says, Kasturi Kundal Base. It, it is there in its navel, but it doesn't know. Kasturi Kundal Base Mrag Dhunde Ban Mahi. Ban is forest, the forest of thoughts. We are all entangled in the forest of thoughts, wanting to connect dots here in the head about the outer situations and thinking that someday I will get satisfaction through these threads. But we never get that. Mrag is again referring to deer of senses because we go outward. So we go outward. So this outward going is through the senses. Kasturi kundal base mrag dhunde ban mahi jaise ghat ghat ram hai. Ghat is any form. So we have this bodily form. And we all know, theoretically speaking, that we have divine living in here. But we don't know how to approach it. So keh rahe ki jaise ghat ghat ram hai, dunia dekhat nahi. Kyunki dunia kahan dekh rahi hai? Dunia vahan dekh rahi hai. Dunia dekh rahi hai, jo bhi senses एक डोर्स दुनिया को प्रेजेंट कर रही है हमारे बॉडी को तो ये हम आउटवर्ड देख रहे हैं आंखों से जो दिख रहा है टच से जो फील हो रहा है सुनाई जो पड़ रहा है टेस्ट जलेबी जो वहां से जो मिल रहा है सो वी ऑल ट्राई टू फाइंड कंटेंटमेंट थ्रू द सेंसेस बट वी ऑल हैव एक्सपीरियंसेस दैट कंटेंटमेंट थ्रू द सेंसेस नेवर कम्स वी ऑल हैव एक्सपीरियंसेस वी कैन गो ऑन एंड ऑन एंड ऑन बट दिस एम्प्टीनेस विद इन never gets satisfied through that way so now he is asking us to turn within now you are looking the question you asked is what to look for you know what to go after if you have gotten convinced ki waha nahi milega waha to meri disenchantment hi hai you know waha se nahi milega then you can turn within now what to do when you turn within that is also a question because that is what sadhana is about right तो इस पे कबीर कहते हैं दौड़त दौड़त दौड़िया जहां लगी मन की दौड़ तो आपके मन ने आपको जहां जहां बोला वहां मिलेगा वहां मिलेगा वहां मिलेगा आप भागे सब कुछ करके देखा फिर भी अभी तक नहीं मिला ये क्या चक्कर है दौड़त दौड़त दौड़िया जहां लगी मन की दौड़ दौड़ थके मन स्थिर भया सो ही इज नॉट से मन स्थिर भया इन द फर्स्ट लाइन विदाउट द दौड़ ही इज से दौड़ थके मन स्थिर भया तो हमको दौड़ना तो पहली बात बहुत जरूरी है आपको जहां जहां लगता है मिलेगा आप भागो उसके पीछे बिल्कुल भागो इनर्शिया से बेटर है भागना 
और हम सब इस स्टेजेस में हैं लाइफ की कि हम एनफ भाग चुके हैं वी ऑल आर इन सच स्टेजेस लेकिन हमको हल्का सा एहसास ये भी है कि वहाँ भी नहीं मिला वहाँ भी नहीं मिला वहाँ भी नहीं मिला अब होता क्या है कि हम ना कन्विंस नहीं होते हैं भाग भाग के भी हमको अभी भी उम्मीद लगी हुई है कि नहीं नहीं वो बंदा बदलेगा और मुझे वहाँ मिलेगा अभी भी होप लगा हुआ है तो अगर आपको होप है तो ठीक है गो ऑन वेट लेकिन अगर आप होपलेस हो चुके हो जो हम बात कर रहे थे डिसमेंटमेंट की उदासीनता की देन इज द टाइम टू टर्न विद इन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कम टू वट इज इट मीन्स बाई टर्निंग विद इन जस्ट अ सेकेंड I have two kids roaming around, so have to attend them in between. So yes, so बाहर से तो पता लग गया नहीं मिलेगा अब those of us who have gotten convinced कि वहाँ नहीं मिलेगा थक चुके हैं दौड़ दौड़ के then we turn within. Now within we the moment I turn attention, the first thing that I realize is that oh my God, you know here just a second, the mind is so untamed. I want to concentrate on the breath, but I can't. You know, I I'm just not able to because the mind goes back and slips into the old story lines again and again. So, ये हमारा काम है इस जन्म का. Human birth कहते हैं very precious. Why is it precious? Because we have been given this task to tame the monkey mind. We think that it is my mind. बट अगर कुछ मेरा होता तो उसके ऊपर थोड़ा सा तो मेरा कंट्रोल होता यहाँ तो कोई कंट्रोल नहीं है मैं चाहती हूँ ब्रेथ पे फोकस करना वो मुझे पुरानी थॉट्स में ले जाता है सो दिस इज अवर इनर साधना नोइंग दैट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गेट कंटेंटमेंट आउटसाइड अ टर्न विद इन वेन आई टर्न विद इन आई रियलाइज दैट अंदर भी होकस फोकस मचा हुआ है इट्स लाइक अ क्योस विद इन एंड वट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू gain mastery over this mind that's the beginning of the step the first step is to gain mastery how to gain mastery simple you know that whenever you wanted to listen to your instruction it listens that okay let's stay with the breath for 2 minutes now you bring it it goes back in the old habits again old story lines past future me my story it goes back you see no no problem you see it going away you bring it back to the breath again you see it going away so you bring it back to the breath again it could be breath it could be a mantra it could be anything basic idea is to tame the monkey mind because it is totally out of control and that is why we are our lives are so confused and why we will be able to bring it back from the story line because now we know that we will not get anything from those story line so this is why in, this enchantment is helpful kyunki jab tak main enchanted hoon story lines se tab tak main bar bar wo piche jaungi un story lines mein mind will go wander around but once i have gotten disgusted from those story lines and i know wahan pe nahi milega then i will be able to tame the mind ki mujhe pata hai ab breath pe leke aana hai mujhe relax karna hai mind ko rest karana hai now i will do it it will go back owing to the old habit but then i know wahan nahi milega so then i will be able to steer it back to the breath or the mantra or the japa or whatever so this is what we begin with this is the starting of our sadhana disenchantment is the starting of our sadhana because before that we can't do the sadhana kyunki lagta hai ki wahan milega wahan milega wahan milega to mind ko aap forest of thought se wapas nahi la sakte na and as long as the mind is in the forest of thought it will get wounded it will bleed and you will have all the hurts that is going to happen so this is what to look for since you were asking what to look for what do i do if not there then where getting the mastery of the mind which is again easier said than done it's a life long process which we have to keep at it we have to keep at it kabhi hum ye nahi bol sakte apne muh se ki mera mind to tame ho gaya because <laughs> you know we know that it slips again and again in the old grooves 
of patterns so that is my sadhana that is my work so will it uh, provide the peace uh, like ultimately we are uh, in that form we are looking for the peace like no thoughts here you know which is bothering all of us uh how long uh, it takes you no know, again it's a, a silly thing but how long it takes because again uh, that thoughts that very thoughts you know that we are surrounded by lots of things lots of pending tasks which we uh, have to finish and again when we uh, you know walk on that track again just to finish the task or to, just to fulfill whatever responsibilities we have we again move into that trance you know which we uh, were looking to leave so how to stay like constant in that so ye wo question ho gaya na jaise imagine that you want to learn swimming right and the first day that you go into <clears throat> water you ask the instructor how long will it take for me to swim nicely what do you think the instructor would say kya lagta hai aapko kya bolenge the more i practice hai na the more you practice the more you stay in water the more you have love for the water okay so if you develop a love for the practice tab aapko koi motivation nahi chahiye bahar se ki koi danda mare ki ja pani mein kood you know practice kare so developing a love for the practice is very important any practice it could be any practice just know that is it benefiting me since you asked for peace is that making me more poised within an equanimous samata jisko kehte if that is working you stick to it the problem with us is man hota hai chanchal wo stick nahi karta right and that is why again bringing us back to disenchantment agar aapko abhi sansari cheezon se abhi bhi hope hai ki wahan se milegi aapko peace to aap better aapke liye yahi hai ki aap lage raho unke piche pad jao aap बिकॉज सुनर और लेटर यू विल रियलाइज कि वहां नहीं है लेकिन अभी अगर कन्विक्शन नहीं है ना देन यू वुड नॉट बी एबल टू स्टिक विद द प्रैक्टिस और हैव लव फॉर द प्रैक्टिस एंड दैट इज वाई अभी अवर रनिंग अराउंड गेटिंग ब्लेड यू नो वेड एंड ब्लीडिंग फ्रॉम ऑल द हर्ट्स दैट वी गेट फ्रॉम द ब्लोज ऑफ लाइफ इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट क्योंकि उसके बिना हमको कन्विक्शन आता ही नहीं है तो अगर हमको इस समय राइट नाउ टूडे एज वी वी आर टॉकिंग अगर आपको कहीं भी अपनी जिंदगी में हो पाए कि अगर वहां भागूंगा तो मिलेगा तो बेटर ये है कि आप एक्चुअली में वहां भागो दिस इज बेटर ना सो दैट सूनर लेटर वॉट एवर आइर सी टू थिंग्स कैन हैपर आइर यू गेट इट देयर ओके गुड फॉर यू इफ यू डोंट गेट इट देन यू विल गेट कन्विंस्ड कि वहां नहीं मिलेगा तो दोनों चीजें विन विन सिचुएशन है इसलिए दौड़ना एज कबीर सेट दौड़त दौड़त भाग गया है ना जहां लगी बन गई वो दौड़ना हमारे लिए जरूरी है क्योंकि हम कन्विंस नहीं होते हैं वट इज द राइट पाथ तो इसलिए बिल्कुल दौड़ना चाहिए जहां आपका मन कर रहा है कि मुझे वहां जाके कुछ मिलेगा सुकून या कुछ मिलेगा तो आप भागो भागो उसके पीछे I I have a little related question. I to again. Uh, जो आपने साधना का बात किया ना उसमें मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स ये हुआ है कि हम लोग बिकॉज वी नो दैट वेन वी स्टिक टू वन प्रैक्टिस कंटिन्यूसली इट हेल्प तो अभी कुछ जैसे सोचा कि साइंस अचरित्र एक चैप्टर डेली पढ़ना है तो ये मेरी साधना है सपोज और एनी थिंग विच आई लुक फॉर वन डे कंटिन्यूसली चल रहा है बट सम ऑफ द डेज कुछ ऐसा बीच में आता है मे बी आई एम ट्रेवलिंग मे बी आई एम समेर एल्स तो वो साधना जो होता है वो छूट गई सपोज एक दिन के लिए या दो दिन के लिए एंड देन कमिंग बैक टू दैट एंड देन मन में एक पॉइंट आ जाता है कि साधना टूट गई नाउ यू हैव टू बिगिन अगेन यू नो द जर्नी और मे बी यू नो दैट इज नॉट कम्प्लीट सो ऐसी फीलिंग आती है सो वट शुड वी डू इन दैट दैट हाउ शुड वी Uh, be very stable and uh, sthirta ke saath ke uh, or should we just keep continuing it despite of the beshak uh, 12 baje so rahe hain par pad ke soenge so what should we do should we stick or should we just go with the flow and you know uh, 
now when it comes to sadhana so anything that is making me more present to the present moment is to be done if hankering about uh, my discipline that oh my god i was not able to do it oh my god oh my god you know what would happen or if this is not making me settled this is unsettling me to apne aap ko hum apni limits mein bandh rahe hain kisne kaha hai अरे भाई साई सच्चरित्र कहता क्या है मुझे उसकी बात करो वॉट डज इट से अगर उस वॉट एवर इट इज सेंग इफ दैट आई एम एबल टू फुलफिल इन ईच मोमेंट ऑफ माई लाइफ देन यू आर लिविंग साई सच्चरित्र सरित्र साई बाबा ये नहीं बोल के गए कि मुझे पढ़ो उन्होंने बोला मुझे जियो जीना है उनकी बातों को तो अगर आप एक दिन मिस भी कर गए हो दो दिन मिस भी कर गए मैं तो कह रही हूँ एक साल मिस कर गए पढ़ना और आप उसको जी रहे हो ये हुई ना बात सो वाई टू ब्लॉक माई सेल्फ इन माई लिमिट्स बिकॉज द मोमेंट एनी इंटरक्शन कम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी आई बिकम रेस्टलेस एजिटेटेड गिव इन टू माई एंगर यू नो पुट फॉरवर्ड ईगो इन द फ्रंट एंड देन आई वॉन्ट टू रीड आफ्टर दैट फाइव मिनट्स आई वॉन्ट टू रीड साई सच्चरित्र मतलब साई बाबा भी बोलेंगे क्या हिपोक्रेसी मचा रखी है कुछ तो मेरी इमेज का यू नो ध्यान रखो तो वही वाली बात है यू नो सो वी डोंट हैव टू ब्लॉक अवर सेल्व इन अवर लिमिट्स इवन स्पिरिचुअल लिमिट्स दीज रिचुअल्स एंड लिमिट्स कोई जरूरत नहीं है एज लॉन्ग एज यू कैन डू इट नाइसली डू इट वन डे समथिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट कम्स विच यू हैव टू अटेंड डोंट डू इट लिव इट मोर गुड फॉर यू लिव इट है ना सो यू कैन रिमेंबर ओके वॉट वुड इन दिस सिचुएशन वॉट वुड साई चरित्र रिकमेंड फॉर मी टू डू दैट इज वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू so even if you have not read it you would be living it wo hamare liye zyada zaruri hai there are people uh, you know kabir says about these people he says pothi pad pad jag puwa man pandit bhaya na koi dhai akhar prem ke padhe so pandit hoye so you you would see matlab all of us the more we read we think we are some higher beings who are reading some spiritual literature while our actions are completely tainted with ill will and you know all the things that should not be there poisons so wo kehte hain ki pothi padhne se koi true pandit nahi ho jata ek kehte hain ek cheat of prem true love in your heart for any being that you interact with and what is true love wanting their benefit aur hum sab ka benefit ek hi cheez mein wo hai everybody should realize who they truly are you know everybody wants to be loved everybody wants to be validated everybody wants satisfaction growth progress in life so if i am working towards that in any which small way true love is there for any being then you are living the sai sachit so tension nahi hogi actually fir agitation bhi nahi hogi mind mein ki oh my god oh my god mujhe baithna hai kyunki tumhe itna contentment feel hota hai to live that that you know that even if i don't live that this is more important what i am doing right now so being fully here in the present moment and all these scriptures or sai satcharitra they tell us give the poisoned mind some raw material so that it brings back to the present moment that's it simple kuch bada nahi ho jana hai simple humko ye karna hai ki forest of thought se प्रेजेंट मोमेंट में आना है अपना बेस्ट वॉट एवर वी कैन गिव वी गिव बिकमिंग कॉन्शियस ऑफ ईच थॉट इन द माइंड कि ये क्या चल रहा है अच्छा कुछ चल रहा है उसको लेट गो करना है जो भी चल रहा है उसको लेट गो करते हुए टोटली इन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट ओके हाउ कैन आई ऑफर माई सेल्फ इन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट हाउ बेस्ट आई कैन ऑफर यूजली क्या होता है कि हम अपने बारे में सोच रहे होते हैं कि इससे मुझे क्या मिलेगा जिस भी सिचुएशन में हम होते हैं ना हम अपने बारे में सोच रहे हैं अच्छा मैं यहाँ पे किचन में पांच मिनट हूँ इससे मुझे क्या मिलेगा अच्छा उस बंदे से बात करने जा रही हूँ मुझे क्या मिलेगा है ना उस जॉब की टॉक से मुझे क्या मिलेगा तो इस ये जो सेल्फ सेंटर्ड एटीट्यूड है इसको ड्रॉप करना है सो हाउ कैन आई बेनिफिट एनी वन अराउंड मी ओके हाउ कैन आई ऑफर माई सेल्फ इन एनी लिटल वे एंड देन we are there then we are in the present moment mind is not lost mujhe kya milega mujhe kya milega and each one of us has something to give each one of us has uh, unique abilities talents you know we are all very special beings 
and we can offer ourselves in these special ways whatever however little they may seem doesn't matter that is what we have to do फिर आपने पढ़ा नहीं पढ़ा नहीं फर्क पड़ेगा जब पढ़ सकते हो पढ़ेंगे बिकॉज इट डिटॉक्सीफाइज बट अगर नहीं पढ़ सकते तो अपने दिमाग के पॉइजन को भी तो देखना है ना कि ये क्या पॉइजन एक्यूमुलेट कर लिया अगर मैं नहीं पढ़ पा रही तो क्या एनीथिंग एनीबडी एल्स वुड लाइक टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज कम फॉरवर्ड Yes, Shikha ji, unmute please. Ha. Huh? Yeah, please. With the kind of uh, conversation or the talks happening here, it's like uh, all about turning your mind, and we need to come up with that before we even even for asking question. Also, we need to turn our mind. And second thing, what my uh, concern is, we are living in this world as uh, initially you talked about samsar. We are already living in this samsar and. you know concentrating completely on spirituality or you know bringing the mind back from the thoughts is not always easy so how to work out on it uh, is my concern means we know we are reading in the scriptures we have the teachings we have the guidance but still sometimes we are not able to work it out so how to go about it यू you नो know, अगर इतना आसान होता तो इतने सारे स्क्रिप्चर्स थोड़ी ना लिखे जा चुके होते है ना दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड साधना क्योंकि उसको बार बार साधना पड़ता है साध रहे हैं ना किसी किसी भी स्किल को आप साधते हो है ना दोज ऑफ अर्स हु प्ले इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स और आर सिंगिंग ट्राइंग टू सिंग है ना वी ऑल नो दैट रियाज हर डे रिक्वायर्ड है एवरी डे वी हैव टू डू दू रियाज एक दिन भी स्पिक स्किप किया अगर आपने रियाज तो आपको फील होता है अपनी आवाज में कि कुछ लेफ्ट राइट हो गया है ना सो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइफ इज लाइक अ रियाज साधना इज लाइक अ रियाज द मोमेंट वी वी आर नॉट डूइंग साधना वी आर स्लिपिंग है ना तो जिस दिन मैंने अपना गिटार प्रैक्टिस नहीं किया आई विल फील कि ओ उंगलियां आप उतनी एफर्टलेस नहीं फील कर रही जितना आप दस दिन पहले फील कर रही थी है ना तो जो ही हम विपिन जी से भी वही बात कर रहे थे प्रैक्टिस अबाउट प्रैक्टिस कि बिना प्रैक्टिस के करत करत अभ्यास के जड़मती होत सुजान सबने पढ़ा हुआ है ना रसरी आवत जाते सिल पर पड़त निशान तो पत्थर पे भी एक रस्सी जैसी सॉफ्ट चीज से बार बार प्रैक्टिस से निशान पड़ जाते दैट इज द पावर ऑफ प्रैक्टिस सो द रिगार्डिंग योर क्वेश्चन दैट यू नो वी ऑल गेट ट्रबल्ड फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम थिंग्स बिकम ओवरवेलमिंग लिविंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड इन दोज टाइम्स इट्स नॉट ईजी टू बी देयर फुली इन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट वॉट टू डू first thing is practice because if i have practiced in okay times kya kehte hain kabir sukh mein sumiran na kiya dukh mein karte yaad ye kehte hain ki jab aapke theek theek times chal rahe the zyada trouble nahi thi tab to aapne socha are theek hi to chal raha hai kya practice karni theek hi to chal raha hai kyon karu main mind ko tame karte hain hum sab karte hain ha sukh mein sumiran na kiya dukh mein karte yaad fir kya keh rahe hain कहे कबीर तादास की कौन सुने फरियाद अब कौन सुनेगा तेरी फरियाद तो द आइडिया इज टू कॉन्टिन्यू टेमिंग द माइंड इफ यू हैव बीन कन्विंस दैट दिस इज व्हाट अपीयर्स राइट टू मी एक बार आपने उसको उठा लिया तो फिर बार बार फेंकना नहीं है माला को अगेन कबीर से इज ई ना जाने कछु नहीं जाने नी जाने गुरमाला जब लग पहरी जब लग छोड़ी तोड़िया फेंक दी झाड़ा में सो ही टॉक्स अबाउट गुरमाला कि तुम्हें अब पता लग गया कहाँ कौन सा पाथ पे चलना है तुम क्या करते हो तुम्हें माला पकड़ना नहीं आता हम सबको कह रहे हैं है ना तुम क्या करते हो जब लग पहरी कभी तो पहन के बड़े गा रहे हो गुनगान और जब लग छोड़ी तोड़िया फेंक दी झाड़ा में कि भाई अभी नहीं चाहिए <laughs> अभी सब कुछ ठीक चल रहा है लाइफ में अब नहीं माला चाहिए है ना ये करते हैं हम टाइम टू टाइम सो द आइडिया इज टू की पट इट वंस यू हैव रियलाइज हाउ बेनिफिशियल एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट इट इज the worst that can happen that you will lose it in overwhelming moments even then you are taken care of that is the certitude 
आपने देखा होगा मेनी मेनी स्टोरीज पीपल इवन दोज पीपल हु आर नॉट वेरी स्पिरिचुअल वेन एवर दे आर फॉलन इन टू डीप ट्रबल्स इमोशनल मेंटल फिजिकल ट्रबल्स दे हैव रिजन अब इट दैट्स द ह्यूमन स्पिरिट सो एनी ऑब्स्टेकल दैट कम्स टू अवर पाथ बिकम्स अ राइजिंग स्टेपिंग स्टोन फॉर द ह्यूमन स्पिरिट सो इफ वी हैव मैं आपको कुछ भी नहीं चाहिए इन फैक्ट ग्रेस इज वर्किंग सो इन फुल पावर कि आप चाहे प्रैक्टिस छोड़ भी दो यू विल बी टेकन केयर ऑफ क्योंकि जब दर्द आता है तकलीफ आती है ना तो हम सब बिल्कुल सीधे हो जाते हैं ये हमारी आदत है तकलीफ के समय पे हम सब सीधे हो जाते हैं तो चाहे आप छोड़ दो प्रैक्टिस चाहे आप करते रहो प्रैक्टिस करते रहो तो अच्छा है क्योंकि दैट बिकम्स अ कोलेबोरेशन एंड गुड यूज ऑफ दिस लाइफ टाइम इन केस वर्स्ट पॉसिबल सिनेरियो दैट यू आर अगेन एंड अगेन थ्रोइंग योर प्रैक्टिस अवे नॉट टेमिंग द माइंड लूजिंग योर सेल्फ इन द फॉरेस्ट ऑफ थॉट अगेन एंड अगेन वर्स्ट कैन हैपन इज यू विल हैव एनी सिचुएशन विच इज मोर ट्रबलसम गिवज यू मोर सफरिंग एंड इवन देन सफरिंग विल बिकम अ स्टेपिंग स्टोन सो यू आर इन अ वेरी वी आर ऑल इन अ वेरी विन विन सिचुएशन बट हैविंग सेट दैट अगेन देर आर वेरी वेरियस विंडोज टू लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन जो आपने पूछा है ना सो तिगना थान द फेमस जेन टीचर ही इन वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन समबडी आस्ट हिम वॉट टू डू वेन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट फील्स अनबेरेबल ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर एज यू द क्वेश्चन दैट यू आस्ट सो ही सेट दैट आई विल शेयर द रिकॉर्डिंग विद यू इसकी जो टीचिंग है ना मैं आपसे शेयर करूँगी ही सेट दैट वेन यू ब्रिंग द माइंड टू द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट stay with the breath no matter how difficult your circumstances are in that situation bringing your mind to the awareness of the breath bringing it fully to the present moment you realize that there are many other conditions of happiness possible in that moment so that may not be happening what you wanted ki mano aapko kisi bande se kuch chahiye tha wo abhi nahi mil raha that is bringing you pain too much of suffering yes true that is not happening but when you bring your mind to the present moment you touch your feet with the grass underground and walk maybe meditatively you realize oh my god you know ha wahan se to nahi mil raha but i have this human form i am still alive i am kicking i am not lying in the hospital i have people around me me with with whom i can talk i have a functional intellect so you become aware of many things many other conditions of happiness he says which you can be grateful for to ha wahan se nahi mil raha wahan pe hai pain bilkul but when you keep rooting the mind in the present moment you become aware of many other things for which you can be grateful and begin your life from there so i will tell you one instance this has happened with me once i was really deeply troubled as you shared you know things happen we become deeply troubled we are not able to bring mind to the present moment so i was walking on a lawn and my mind was again and again going back to the trouble in the story line and uh, since i had heard about bringing the mind to the present moment i was also parallelly trying that so i the moment i was practicing bringing the mind to the breath to my body feeling the sensations in the body i realized that beneath my feet was damp grass ठंडी ठंडी कूल ग्रास थी मॉर्निंग का टाइम था एंड आई सडनली फेल्ट सो अलाइव एंड थैंकफुल वाओ यू नो आई आई एम अलाइव आई हैव दिस ह्यूमन बॉडी आई एम आई एम एबल टू फील दिस डैम्प ग्रास दिस कूलनेस सडनली द चर्ब्स ऑफ द बर्ड्स बिकेम वेरी अलाइव एंड आई इंस्टेड ऑफ कंप्लेनिंग आई बिकेम वेरी ग्रेटफुल दैट नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू टॉर्चर विद माई सेल्फ बींग स्टबन की वहीं से मिले वहीं से मिले और वहां से नहीं मिल रहा तो मैं क्या करूंगी एंड देन थिंग्स जस्ट शिफ्टेड द मोमेंट आई ब्रॉट माई सेल्फ टू द प्रेजेंट थिंग्स शिफ्टेड बिकेम ग्रेटफुल फॉर द लाइफ दैट आई हैव एंड ऑलमोस्ट गिविंग माई माई सेल्फ अ संकल्पा दैट नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू वेस्ट दिस लाइफ बिकॉज ऑफ माई जिद कि वहीं से मिले वहीं से मिले सो दिस इज हाउ यू नो अगेन वन वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट या बिकॉज थिंग्स विल बिकम troubled from time to time and those troubles are good tests for our path there i can practice even more intensely i have a question on this thing only thank you so uh, much 
Thank you. Yes, Vipin ji. Uh, as you said, like, uh, we sometimes think you know, we will meet from there. But those sometimes those things are very much important also, and we are seeking, like, we are trying to resolve that thing. You know, we just need to complete that task. But again, that task is not getting complete, and we are uh, exhausted. So we take this step. But again, in the back of our mind, we know that that task is incomplete. And um, isn't it like diverting ourselves from that task? just because it is not giving us uh, you know the peace or maybe the result which we want to so, parallelly aap ye bhi bol sakte ho ki uh, is my going back to those unfinished tasks not a distraction from taming the mind so aapko kya lag raha hai abhi is situation mein aapko lag raha hai ki main task hai uska dhyan rakhna aur taming the mind to hota rahega <laughs> मैं कह रही हूं कि टेमिंग द माइंड इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टास्क वो तो होता रहेगा तो हु इज वॉट इज डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग वो सिचुएशन डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग हो रही है कि ये चीज आपको डिस्ट्रैक्ट कर रहा है उससे डिपेंड किस पे करता है कि आप रियलिटी किसको मान रहे हो अगर आपने उसको रियलिटी मान के रखा है जो कि हमारी हैबिट है पुरानी इतने सालों से हमने उसी को तो रियलिटी माना है ना तो बार बार हमको लगेगा ओ आई एम इग्नोरिंग समथिंग रियल and trying to do my sadhana but agar aap apna base shift kar do aapko ek bar priority pata lag jaye taming the mind ki to aapko lagega no 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 this is important and that is a distraction aur hota kya hai ki when you begin to work with taming the mind then you gradually develop a equal poise within like a certain samata that even if the outer things are not happening the way you would have wanted you are okay because that is not important my work as manushya human birth is this one which i am doing inside and wo kya hai wo aapke pralobhan hai tabhi isko moha kaha gaya hai attachment and moha kaha gaya hai na aur buddha ne sabse pehle bahar nikalte hi sadhana se kya bola attachment is the root cause of suffering so these things are like pralobhans for me whatever is happening outside they will call your attention again and again जैसे पुराने जमाने में ऋषियों को दिखाया जाता था कि मेनका के नाच रही है सामने तो वो प्रलोभन दिया जा रहा है है ना कि भाई तू हिलेगा साधना से कि नहीं और हिल जाते थे काफी बार हिल भी जाते थे शादी भी हो जाती थी उनकी मेनकाओं से एंड दैट ऑल्सो हैज इट्स ओन पर्पस एवरीथिंग हैज इट्स ओन पर्पस तो वट आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर हेयर इज दैट ब्रिंगिंग द माइंड टू द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट रूटिंग इट अगेन एंड अगेन डूइंग माई साधना parallelly knowing that each thing has a relative importance in life but wouldn't you say that whatever task i do with a agitated mind would be better done with a calm mind very simple common sensical hai na absolutely jo, ha jo bhi task aap agitated mind se karte ho that adds on to the karma baggage because it is done from the not of ego but whatever you do that mujhe isse kuch chahiye nahi but जो राइट right लग रहा है वो करते हैं जो आप वहां से करते हो ना वो दैट इज रिड्यूसिंग योर बैगेज ऑफ कर्मा दैट इज नॉट एडिंग ऑन टू द नॉट ऑफ कर्मा ईगो इज बेसिकली अंस ऑफ लैक फ्रॉम विच यू लिव कि वहां अगर ये कर लू बस मेरा वाला अगर एटीट्यूड हो जाए यहाँ पे तो कुछ मिलेगा यहाँ से वो इट्स लाइक like, मेरे में कुछ भर जाएगा जब आपको पता लग गया कि उनसे मेरे में कुछ भरना नहीं है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि आप वहां पर काम नहीं करोगे बिल्कुल करोगे काम बट ये सोच के नहीं करोगे कि मेरा कुछ भरेगा जो सही होगा उचित होगा आप ये सोच के करोगे सो यूर एटीट्यूड विल चेंज है ना दिस विल हेल्प दो अदर पार्टी ऑल्सो एंड योर सेल्फ ऑल्सो बोथ आर इन अ गुड सिचुएशन सो जयश्री इज आस्ट जयश्री जयश्री हाँ even with efforts i fail to do my meditation and naam jap daily and i keep postponing as i will do tomorrow how to correct this habit don't correct the habit postpone kyunki dekho agar koi bhi cheez ko main postpone kar rahi hu kuch hai mere samne jo zyada important hai usi ke liye to postpone kar rahi hu na ab maan lo main ye session postpone karu iska matlab mere paas kuch hai jo zyada important hai is session se अटेंड करने के लिए अटेंड दैट सिंपल गिव योर सेल्फ फुली टू दैट 
whatever you are attending. Jaisi, would that make sense to you? Don't put obligation on you ki mujhe ye karna hi karna hai kyunki yehi spirituality hai. Na, spirituality is everywhere. So, agar aapko lag raha hai ki naam jab se kuch zyada importance hai abhi, definitely, that is why I am postponing. So, usko attend kar lo na, kya pata zyada neend aari hai. So, kar lo, jee bhar ke neend puri kar lo. And wherever you are, be there fully. That's the idea. I, that reminds me one uh, quote from the mother. I think you shared Monica once that take pleasure in doing everything, but don't do anything for pleasure. There comes, I think it may fit here. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. So, they could jab tak mujhe pleasure ki want hai bahar se. कि अच्छा ये करूंगी तो मुझे प्लेजर मिलेगा एंड आई विल फील गुड इसका मतलब आई एम स्टिल लिविंग फ्रॉम अ सेंस ऑफ लैक दिस इज द बेसिक सेंस ऑफ लैक व्हिच इन दिस ह्यूमन लाइफ वी हैव टू मूव अवे फ्रॉम ठीक है तो हम काम फिर भी करेंगे इन्वॉल्व फिर भी रहेंगे संसार में वी डोंट हैव टू गिव अप संसार वी हैव टू ट्रांसफॉर्म द संसार you know, through our own attempts, through our own interactions with the world, we have to change it into life divine, as Sri Aurobindo says. You know? So, now, but I will do what I will do, that is a Jeevan Mukta. Sri Aurobindo uses this word, Jeevan Mukta. That now, he is not tying his life, bond, he is not in bondage, that I will give you something. There is no enchantment. He has got something parallel to him, which he feels alive, which he feels content. तो अब वो जिस भाव से अपने आप को काम में लगाता है ये भाव हम एक एक में डेवलप होना चाहिए जीवन मुक्ता का भाव सो टू लिव इन द वर्ल्ड येट नॉट बी टाइड एंड ग्लूड टू द वर्ल्ड जैसे लोटस यू नो लोटस इज इन लिविंग इन द कीचड बट कीच अगर आप लोटस की स्किन देखो तो वो काफी स्लिपरी सी स्किन होती है उसके ऊपर कीचड स्टिक नहीं होता दैट्स हाउ वी हैव टू लिव Living in the world, doing all the activities that are required, and yet not depending on the world for my own satisfaction, because I have the satisfaction within. Yeah. So, any last uh, five minutes we have? Any last comments? Any reflections? I'll share all the links with Pratima. He can, she can forward with all of you. I just wanted to say that this session is so refreshing. It made our weekend. Like listening to uh, listening to you is such an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for sharing. And uh, this is only your aspiration, which is keeping it alive. So thank you for that. Um, Monica, just last thing, I think if, if anybody has any question, otherwise I can just go ahead with one. Uh, yeah, Pucho, I'm sure we all connect with our question. So your question yeah. will resonate with everyone. Uh, so go ahead. Okay. So the last point that you mentioned, and most of the times in relationships, like we are in relationships, we have so many beautiful relationships, but still we feel lonely. Because sometimes there is, you know, the, again, the habits, uh, it comes up like that. Uh, in situations when we need someone, there is no one to, you know, the shoulder is not there. So we feel so, um, so lack, as you said, sense of lack inside that I would need someone, uh, you know, at least during this uh, painful time so that I can recover and come back. So uh, relationships... Uh, uh, you know, we decide also, we become uh, judgmental about the relationships as well. When, when somebody is not um, uh, responding well to the situation. So uh, that sense of lack in oneself, the sense of lack of love also in oneself. Is there a way uh, to look at it uh, that we can, uh, you know, keep reminding ourselves that you are complete in yourself? Mm. See, if a crying and agitated, restless child comes to me. For those of us who are mothers or fathers, you know, we would know. Uh, the best many a times I can do is to let the child sit with me in the lap if he wants to and let him, let him cry for as long as he wants. 
so when this sense of lack or agitation or restless wanting to you know have this shoulder which is not available maybe at times it is not available you know there are situations so when they when we see this restlessness within us can we embrace this restlessness like a crying child okay restlessness i see you you are there but i am not leaving you i am there for you nobody else may be there i am there for you hota kya hai why we feel lonely or you know depressed or whatever at times situations are difficult because we leave our side we abandon ourselves in difficult situation so the best that we can do for ourselves to self love ki jo baat karte hain is to never leave our side ha log aap pe galiyan utha rahe hain i am standing with myself i am not leaving my side and what in that i am doing is i am going through each taste that life wants to give me restlessness is a taste agitation is a taste you know sense of lack is a taste why to run away from that taste and uh, say that uh, fullness is a better taste fullness aayegi to aayegi dekhenge abhi jo hai वो मेरे लिए आई एल टेस्ट इट लाइक अ प्रसाद प्रसाद अगेन वी कम बैक टू द प्रसाद वी टॉक अबाउट वी गो टू गुड गो टू गुरुद्वारा टेम्पल एंड वी गेट दिस प्रसाद जो भगवान का भोग लिया हो भोग लगा होता है है ना सो वॉट एवर लाइफ प्रेजेंट्स मी वेदर इट इज पेन सफरिंग टर्म ऑयल फेलियर यू नो लोनलीनेस इज अ प्रसाद है ना हैविंग नो रिलेशनशिप ऑल्सो इज अ प्रसाद so can i take that in gratitude okay this is what you are giving me right now i am happy to receive it i will not run away from this prasad saying that oh no 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 i i didn't want that or it appears so ugly hai na to ye prasad hai humko har prasad ko taste karna hai kisi bhi prasad se bhagna nahi hai aur fir kya hota hai slowly we actually take joy in each prasad even if from appearance it may be looking ugly loneliness from appearance looks ugly so we run pain physical pain emotional suffering it appears ugly failure we were talking of failure that day hai na it appears ugly society doesn't approve of it hai na lekin jab us ugliness ke sath main embrace kar deti hu main kehti hu okay ye bhi prasad hai i mai rahungi iske sath kuch na kuch hai mere liye jo learn karne ke liye then what happens it changes into something very beautiful you know it it begins it turns into a path of progress for me so taking everything in life agar ekdam se maine observe kiya oh my mind is restless so looking at that restless mind staying with it not leaving it and distracting myself with something for example even distraction when it is there looking at distraction becoming conscious of distraction and knowing it understanding distraction when do i distract myself what am i running from is is what i am running from too bad let me check it so becoming like a curious explorer of our own self never leaving our side no matter how bad the situation appears so that is one way of looking at it you know that like a curious scientist or explorer like a child when a child looks at you know a kida for first time newborn or you know infants or maybe a child looks at a machine for the first time ki kaise move kare so he looks with the eyes of wonderment he says i don't know and i want to know how this works so that is the eye of wonderment with which we have to live okay loneliness what it is like let me see its nature and again this is just touching upon the tip of iceberg there is much that can be discussed here but that is how we can start okay so great and i am really uh, glad we could do this it's beautiful to have beautiful questions from all of you and uh, just wishing all of us happy practice and even if we slip from practice at times we don't beat ourselves up as shri aurobindo says you know he says that we don't have to do this with torture we have to do with nurture 
because it is krishna who is evolving out of us and if it is krishna evolving out of us would we torture that krishna we won't you know we for foster and nurture so pyar se thoda samjha bujha ke we have to walk this path Uh, well, I wanted to ask the last question, Monica. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. If nobody has a question. Uh, I am a beginner. Okay, so are there any books which I can start off with? So I have obviously read Sai Satcharitra with Baba's Lila's and his teachings. But since you are referring to Sri Aurobindo as well, I have heard that from my mom. But I I haven't read any books so far. So I'm very interested in um, learning about you know life. <laughs> and what lies beyond so as a beginner what is the book that i can start off with yeah to know? yeah i'm glad to see your interest in mother shyorobindo so we uh, what i suggest is uh, there is a book called sunlit path okay. uh, which is a compilation of words by the mother so, and okay. it is said that uh, directly approaching shyorobindo is at times very hard and difficult because his sentences are long mind hmm. has to really concentrate deeply on those sentences so uh, shri aurobindo also says approach me via the mother so uh, sunlit path is a compilation of words by the mother for seekers on the path and i can share the pdf i think i had maybe shared pratima did i share sunlit path with you i shared the white so i will ah, so i'll that. send it i'll send it and there is also a friday study circle that we do where nowadays we have started on the sunlit path so we have picked up this book and we are now on the second page for those of us who really want to do this read it and we want so we collectively reflect and read that book i can share the link with pratima friday study circle you can uh, share sure. it with whoever is interested okay yeah. sure. so every friday at 7 pm we meet via zoom and okay. we have just started the sunlit path only which i am recommending so i okay. recommend that uh, either come to the session if you need support or if not com- coming to the session you listen to recordings which again i can share with pratima of friday study circle so so ha so that kya hota halka sa push milta rehta hai if there are a ca- couple of more people reading with me then i get a push uh, yes. to continue it so i'll share yeah. the pdf with pratima sunlit path and also the recordings where we put up recordings and the chat link where you can get added and the sure. zoom link for friday all these informations i'll be pratima is our mediator you know i sure yeah. sure the reason i asked it is yeah. because in baba satcharitra as well he is written that if you want to know more about life obviously we have sai satcharitra where we get to know more about his teachings and also bhagavad gita now um, at my age i find it little difficult to understand the concepts uh, mentioned in bhagavad gita because it i understand it but not to the core so if it is simplified for me it would be better so that is why i wanted to know what is a book which i can read as a beginner to understand start understanding more about life so there is uh, you would it gives me delight that mother shyorobindo and other masters they have left a vast like unending uh, ocean of literature which we can delve into and very practical literature because whatever we go through in human life that mm-hmm. is what they are talking about you know how to take that as a step to progress and joy so uh, it's like a very unending journey awaits for those of us who are interested so i'll share this book with uh, sure, sure. thank you so so much for okay. organizing this and uh, it thank was a you, pleasure thank you pratima and vipin i think they thought of it first so Thank, thank you so absolutely. much absolutely yes. so i really would like to thanks baba our saimandan team and to you equally for you know taking a step forward in our nurturing thank you so much thank you thank you so much vipin bhaiya and pratima didi you all are the best <laughs> you priya is actually engaged now she is moving on to <laughs> she'll be soon moving to the she's she recently got engaged okay 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 wonderful <laughs> new new phase of life yes thank you so much yeah all the best but i can't thank you enough uh, vipin bhaiya and pratima ji so i'm actually very delighted and i can say it thousand times that i got added to this group and uh, you know there's lots to learn from both of them because 
we often hear about what needs to be done and we also read from the uh, sai satcharitra where baba tells us how to live life and which path to follow but often we fail to follow it we know what needs to be done but we can't do it due to interest of time uh, the office schedules or whatever but you know these two people uh, they are leading with example so whatever initiatives whatever happens in our group um, and more members are getting added to the group so that they can learn from both of them so uh, although we are contributing we are a part of it but they are the they are the ones who's actually doing it so I, i can't thank both of them enough and i'm so grateful that one day you know i decided to join this group and uh, i get to learn from them every day beautiful so, thank you so yeah. much more power to each one of us yes thank you for sharing wonderful words and i'm actually looking after uh, you know attending more session of yours uh, i actually asked patima to be that yesterday i think yeah so if if any uh, apart from that uh, book uh, uh, thing if you have many more sessions you you can you know just share the links i would love to join yes day. yes uh, so we have many sessions almost one yes. session every uh, day almost okay so uh, i i'll share the schedule you can have a look at the website also hai na living okay, life okay. website wherever you want to get added you can kafi bar aisa bhi hai that for every day we have a separate whatsapp group that's also there right right so like right. friday study is a separate whatsapp group huh? and then okay. there are common whatsapp groups in which like uh, things get posted so again because everybody is not interested everywhere so we have like separate right. windows so if you let me know you have a look at the website wherever you feel interested you mm-hmm. can ping you have my number you can sure. ping us and sure, yeah sure. in any way we have all the time we have recordings on our channel right. case so this right, recording right. also we'll share i'll share with all of you i'll share with pratima those of us who may not have attended but are looking maybe to see what happened in the session <laughs> they can they can also go through is it is it going to be in the youtube as well it will be on youtube yes okay, i'll okay. share the link right right because i've been seeing all the videos like uh, the youtube videos which uh, i've uh-huh. followed you in and i'm looking very much i'm very much interested to you know go more uh, beyond but badhiya badhiya so we have several possibilities or i think same here yeah same great. here what mupindi just mentioned i would like to come for, forward for more sessions beautiful beautiful so uh, again you know even if many a times mujhe thoda dar lagta hai is sense mein in the sense ki koi bhi cheez dependency nahi banne dena hai you know it's like anything should not become a dependency चाहे वो बहुत अच्छी एलिटिस्ट चीज है क्यों ना हो हमारे दिमाग में है ना वेदर दीज सेशंस ले लो आप बट कब जब है वी विल मेक यूज ऑफ इट जब नहीं है देन इवन देन वी विल डू द प्रैक्टिस सो आई थिंक दैट्स वेरी दैट हैज हेल्प मी अ लॉट बिकॉज वी गेट फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम वेरी स्टिकी टू थिंग्स तो उसका हम ध्यान रखेंगे फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम ऑल दो इट्स रिकमेंडेड कि सत्संग करते रहना चाहिए लेकिन हमारा इतना चिपचिपा मन होता है कि वो सत्संग से चिपक जाता है फिर तो <laughs> है ना बड़ा ध्यान रखना है इस चीज का या ठीक है सो आई विल शेयर ऑल द डिटेल्स एंड विल यू विल बी फॉरवर्डेड द लिंक्स वेयर एवर यू वांट टू जॉइन जॉइन ठीक है मोनिका डू वी हैव अ क्रक्स ऑफ लाइक फ्राइडे सर्कल लाइक इफ वी हैव अ टू लाइनर एक्सप्लेनिंग हु कैन जॉइन सो दे विल बी लाइक आई थिंक वी आर सेवन एट पीपल एंड ऑल ऑफ देम विल हैव अ डिफरेंट एजेंडा और मे बी समथिंग इन माइंड टू कनेक्ट टू like for me integral healing is the one which i really love ha and for other people they might be something like friday circle ha ha so, so first what, a... first what i'll do is that i'll share these recordings with you okay so that we know each one of us knows what is happening where hai na to har session ki main aapse ek ek recording share kar dungi okay theek hai and then uh, one can choose okay this resonates this doesn't resonate basically friday study circle ka what aim is that to get more clarity on our path mostly what we are doing through the words of mother shri aurobindo so those of us like devopriya got interested she had heard the name and she got interested so maybe it resonates with her or vipin got interested ki ha at least i would like to try so try dekho be, truth har jagah hai truth mm-hmm. kabir ji ke bhi words mein hai truth shri aurobindo ke bhi words mein hai jahan se aapko mil jaye le lo ये है ठीक है ओके जी धन्यवाद एंड हैव अ गुड वीकेंड 
all of you. Thank you, Monica. Yeah. Okay. Happy practice. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks for joining. Bye bye. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye now.